We have strong support from men and women. This is of vital importance to the women in this state, to the families of the state, that he sign the family planning bill and he sign it now. Majority Leader. Uh, we stand here united as a caucus with firm belief that the governor should give us an answer now. And I, I want to be clear as the majority leader in consultation with the speaker. If the governor vetoes this bill, we will, run, we will put that override up in the assembly. We do expect the same in the Senate. We will get this passed. Um, I had reached out on, on Friday, particularly for an appointment to meet today with him to discuss this, and uh, they have been unable to find time in the schedule to, for us to meet with him on this subject. We've been given no time frame in terms of a decision. As you know, he has 45 days. I think the people of New Jersey deserve an answer. The women of New Jersey in particular deserve an answer today. And you have the votes in your caucus for an We will. And the Senate as well? The Senate already does, uh, based on the initial vote. Every day that we're here is a good day to talk about family planning in the state of New Jersey and to ask for the governor to support this. And just to get this straight, you've asked for a meeting with the office, oh, yes. you're just not getting one? Correct. That's correct. That's correct. And I also reached out to the lieutenant governor's office and never got a call back from there. And so you have, at this point, no one's telling you at all that he's going to do this for like six, 45 days? The only constant here is this caucus's commitment to women's health. And that will continue to do and make sure that one way or another through this legislation that we get it done. Men and women. Men and women. Because family, uh, family, um, family health care is really provided for both men and women. And I think it's important for us to be able to provide the much vital services to the additional 140,000 of men and women that are currently not going to be provided the necessary family health care services that this vitally provides for. And I think it's important for us to come every single day and protect the rights for making sure that those families out there, all men and women, be provided that family health care service. Um, this isn't a man's issue, it isn't a woman's issue. The governor makes a big deal out of political courage. Have some political courage. Sign it or veto it. We'll deal accordingly. The majority leader has just indicated. But stop hiding in the office, sign it or veto it. That's all we're asking for.